Hi everyone, Cool Thinny, Cool Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Sumac and Keji Hino album, American Dollar Bill. Uh, you keep facing sideways, you're too hideous to look at face on. This is a new collaborative album featuring two names in the worlds of heavy and experimental music. One, Sumac, contemporary sludge metal band spearheaded by guitarist, songwriter Aaron Turner of Isis, Old Man Gloom, Grey Machine fame. And then you also have Keji Haino, prolific Japanese experimental music artist. I don't really know what made these two worlds collide, honestly, but seeing them come together was truly enough to pique my interest. Personally, I've never been a super huge Isis and Aaron Turner guy, though I have, you know, shown my respect to the band before. They are a good band. I get why they have fans. I get the appeal. Uh, it just hasn't really appealed to me personally. And Sumac, every album so far has just been kind of meh to me. But still, seeing them come together with an artist like Hino to me says, whoa, this could be a moment that really kind of adds the eccentric, weird elements to their music that I kind of always wished were there. And in a way, that's kind of what this record brings. I mean, this album is over an hour of heavy, noisy, abrasive, freewheeling, improvisational noise metal. The album here features five tracks whose song titles are about as difficult to digest as the music itself. For example, we have parts one and two of what have I done? I was reeling in something white and I became able to do anything. I made a whole imprisoned time within it, created friction, stopped listening to warnings, ceased fixing my errors, made the impossible possible, turned sadness into joy. I, I don't, I don't know. There's also parts one and two of uh, I'm over 137% a love junkie, and it's still not enough. The pieces on this album, they're winding, they're tense, they're explosive, sometimes feeling a little disjointed, disconnected, kind of obtuse. All over this record, there's this really dramatic drum playing, which is kind of exploring the space between these seemingly improvised guitar passages. Hino also provides these really aggressive, strange vocal freakouts. A lot of it's pretty harrowing, a lot of it's pretty massive, bone-crushing riffs and, and noise and distortion. But despite a lot of this record feeling at least a little off the cuff, there is a surprising amount of chemistry between the band and Hino here. Sumac really seems to provide a lot of the rhythmic and sonic muscle on the record that kind of allows Hino to color on top of that with his voice and just some really angular, strange guitar work. Now, while I enjoy this record a lot and I think it's great, I like the performances, I like how raw it is, and it's certainly the most interesting thing I think either of these artists have been affiliated with in a long time, but I guess the novelty of this record did wear off on me a little bit as I came back to it for repeated listens, because it's it's not quite as experimental and it's not quite as unorthodox as, as maybe I would have liked, because there's certainly a lot of similarities one could draw to other artists from this record that are on the noisier side of things, bands like uh, Indian or Swans or Boris. Though I guess it is kind of interesting to hear a singular piece of music that can draw those kinds of comparisons. And while I do think Sumac and Hino strike a good balance between just very spacious, tense, patience-testing passages and, and more visceral moments on the album, the more I listened to it, the, the more I really wanted from it. More versatility, more experimentation, more sonic adventure, more compositional risks, more intense highs as well, because after a while, some of the noisier and more long-winded spots on the album. I just kind of grew numb to them. I'm not trying to knock this album, though. It's still easily one of the better experimental rock releases you're gonna hear this year, and if you are on the weirder side of the spectrum when it comes to rock music, if that's kind of where you like to hang out, you do not want this to slip by you, I promise you. I'm feeling a decent two strong seven on this thing. Tran. Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Just leave a thoughtful comment in the comments if you're full of thoughts, okay? Um, Anthony Fantano, another video over here next to my head that might be of interest to you. Also the link to subscribe to the channel forever.